The new year is upon us. I can't believe it's already 2025, but the new year brings out the new year, new me mantra in everyone. What better time for a fresh start in pursuing your goals than with the new year? You swear that this year will be different, just like you did in 2024 and 2023 and every year before that, to be honest. In 2025 though, the problem isn't that you don't have a plan to follow. There are plenty of those that you can find and follow online. Or you can even create your own using ChatGPT in today's artificial intelligence age. With so many resources available, the only thing holding people back from their fitness goals is how badly they want it. I don't mean that to be harsh, and if this is something you're not ready to commit to, that's completely fine. You have to be honest with yourself, otherwise you're going to be spinning your tires with fluctuating effort levels daily. So if you're not serious about getting in control of your body and health, feel free to click off this video now. But if you're here watching this, then you're at a place where you're ready for change. The problem I see is that you don't have clarity on whether the plan you're following is the right one for you. That lack of clarity erodes your confidence in knowing what to execute on each day. Also, you lack the accountability to stick with anything. So you quit when the going gets tough and it always does. There's no one there to support you, course correct you, or even know if you've fallen off track for that matter. Today, I'm gonna to at least break down some barriers for you. I'm gonna tell you from my experience and my expertise, the steps you need to consider when you decide to commit to taking control of your health and achieve a body you're proud of. I'm gonna teach you the steps that help me go from feeling stuck, fat, and unconfident, and believing that no matter what I did, I would never reach my weight loss goals to a place now of getting the clarity and know-how to get results and sustain them for life. My first successful weight loss experience gave me the keys to know how it truly works. And now I can pass that knowledge down to my clients in a systematic way, just as I've done as an online fitness coach for the past almost three years now. If you're like me, you've tried eating the bland chicken and rice diets, you've constantly switched from workout plan to workout plan, also known as program hopping, you've starved yourself only to binge eat on evenings and weekends, and you've taken up running and hyper-focused on cardio as means of fat loss. Let me guess how far that's gotten you so far. These things aren't inherently bad, but those things are majoring in the minors. Instead of fixating on those things, take a balanced approach instead. Incorporate them into your lifestyle with a holistic big picture mindset. Like Fat Brad, as I was known in high school, these failed tactics can make you think you'll be stuck unhappy and out of shape with your confidence in the gutter forever. What you truly want though, is to finally gain that control you've been missing to achieve your physique you're proud of, while at the same time knowing how and why this process truly works so you can sustain your results for life. Just as I had an online fitness coach teach and pass these things down to me, now it's my turn to return the favor and share with you what's worked not only for myself, but also for the over 200 clients that I've worked with since starting my coaching journey. I owe so much that experience I had with that first coach as I was finally able to put the pieces of the transformation puzzle together through the systems and support I learned. Now I'm on a mission to do the same for you. So let's break it down. Here are the steps that I would follow today if I were to start my fitness journey in 2025 to lose the weight and get in shape for life. Step one, mindset and perspective shift. Think of this video as your first step towards that perspective shift. As we've already covered, you focused on tactics like the intense workouts and the crash diets, but you've been left frustrated and not seeing the progress that you'd hoped for. You will get so much further on your journey if you can take two steps back to look at the principles of successful weight loss and how each individual piece I'm about to cover ties into each other. This is something I teach you step-by-step step and in-depth in my one-on-one -on -one coaching program. Step two, nutritional awareness. Here's an analogy for you. If you went to the bank and said you wanted to start saving money, what's the first thing they tell you to do? They'd say, okay, let's take a look at your income and your expenses. During my first successful weight loss transformation, I started to measure, weigh, and track everything I ate and drank. This process was nothing short of eye-opening and gave me the awareness of my own nutrition to see how many calories I was consuming in a day. This process took some time to get the hang of, but when I did, it became immediately clear why I wasn't seeing the progress I had hoped for. I recommend starting by food tracking for a one to two week period, making sure you include the weekends. 
I have another video on YouTube here, how to do the food tracking process. To come back to that money saving analogy, saying you want to lose weight, but don't want to track your calories would be like saying you want to save money, but you never take the time to see what's coming in or what's going out. This isn't to say that you're handcuffed to food tracking for life, but it has been a game changer for myself and my clients to see what the foods are eating consist of and how that factors into their daily caloric intake. What do you do with this info once you've gained that nutritional awareness? That leads us to step three, setting up your nutrition plan. After food tracking for one to two weeks from step two, you'll have a good idea of how much you're currently eating over that one to two week period. I'd also recommend tracking your weight to see how that changes in those one to two weeks of tracking so you can compare it with your daily calorie amounts from the food tracking data. Then you can calculate the amount of calories you should be eating based on your current body stats and your goals. The best way to do this is to use an online calculator such as tdeecalculator.net, input your weight, height, age, estimated body fat percentage, and your goal. This will give you a calorie target to hit each day to see the desired changes to your body and weight. How do you turn these calorie targets into an actual nutrition plan to follow? Divide the total daily calories by the eating structure you typically follow. For example, if your calorie target comes out to 2,400 calories per day, and you normally eat three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and two snacks on top of that, that would give you about 650 calories per meal and 225 calories for your two snacks. Protein is important here too. Aim to have at least 0.7 grams per pound of body weight. For example, 150 pounds times 0.7 equals 105 grams. Divide those 105 grams into your three meals and two snacks for about 20 to 25 grams of protein at each meal and each snack. Step four, consistent movement. You can't outwork poor eating habits when it comes to getting results. That's why we spent the past few minutes emphasizing nutrition first. But in order to improve strength, bone health, cardiovascular health, and more, we need to incorporate consistent movement. Moving your body can look like workouts either in the gym or at home, which I totally recommend, but moving your body can also look like playing your favorite sports, going for hikes, walking the dog, and more. A daily step goal here is fantastic for a measurable way to ensure you're incorporating that daily movement. And you've probably heard the daily 10K step goal, but to start, use a tracker to meet yourself where you're at and try to work your way up by adding in 500 to 1,000 steps per day. Step five, resistance training. When talking about making progress, we don't just wanna become a smaller version of our current selves. We wanna look toned and strong and have a physique that you can wear as a badge of honor to showcase your hard work. That's where resistance training comes in. It is important to know that there certainly is a difference between fat loss and weight loss. You can see my most recent reel on Instagram for an explanation of that, link in my caption. The benefits of resistance training are insane. And if you're not currently incorporating some, you need to be. This doesn't mean you need to do five to six days a week of an intense gym workout. It just means meeting yourself where you're currently at and committing to a routine even as much as two to three days where you're challenging your muscles through some resistance training. This will help you achieve that toned look, grow some lean muscle tissue, and also give your muscles a reason to stay while losing the weight. It will help ensure the weight you are losing is coming from body fat and not just water weight or muscle. The physical benefits of resistance training include increased muscle mass, increased strength, and improved longevity of joints and bones when done properly. This also speeds up the weight loss process as muscle is more metabolically active, meaning it takes more calories to maintain than fat tissue and can slightly increase the calories you're burning at rest. Any extra fat loss we can get, especially when effortless, is certainly something to work towards. We can't overlook the mental health benefits as well. Not only do you build integrity and self-confidence through consistently committing to showing up and keeping the promises you made to yourself, but you also reach new heights by challenging yourself to get 1% better each and every day. And if you're someone like myself who is competitive but sports were never a strong suit, then this is a great competitive outlet for you to work against the version of you from yesterday. Step six, accountability and support. We have two kinds of accountability, external and internal. Internal accountability is good and comes from having a strong reason of your why or reason for making this change in the first place. Applying internal accountability can look like keeping a calendar, journal, or habit tracking app. Then there's the external accountability. This is an invaluable approach, especially as a beginner, but has so many benefits at any level of the game. 
Having external accountability can keep you on track in an objective way, especially on the days when you may not be feeling it or your mind is telling you to take the easy route and seek comfort. This can look like leaning on friends and family or support groups to hold each other to what you say you're going to do. These can work great, but for some people, friends and family are not enough of a motivator. That's where someone like me comes in. The benefit of working with a professional fitness coach is having someone collaborate and come up with the right game plan for you. This takes out the guesswork for you and provides you with a clear cut plan you can confidently follow knowing it will take you to your goals. You can click the link in my caption to book a free discovery call with me to come up with your game plan. Even I like to hire a coach to keep me on track from time to time because yes, coaches have coaches too. If you think having a coach is just for beginners, think of how many Olympic athletes would go into the Olympics without a coach. Not many. Step seven, consistency, but on the right things. Consistency is the glue that ties this all together. I added that it's consistency on the right things because sometimes consistency can be done on the wrong things. This will leave you frustrated when your efforts don't take you to where you're trying to go. After following steps one to six, you know you're doing the right things for your goals. So now you just need to show up every day and execute. Each of the above steps are great, but even if we have the perfect workout and the perfect nutrition plan, following it for just a day or sporadically following the plan two days on, then three days off, isn't the effort that will produce the results you want. Commit to the process and set up your schedule and environment so it's conducive to getting consistent. Will every day be perfect? No. But we want to aim to get 1% better than we were yesterday, and a good rule I like to follow is you can miss one day, but don't make it two days in a row. Get back on track, follow the steps, trust the process, and see the results that come from doing so. If you're tired of not getting the results and you're thinking that they may not even be possible for you, then I'm here to tell you that I've been there and myself and my clients are living proof that results you desire are possible for you. Follow these seven steps and if you need that extra boost of external motivation and someone to help take the confusion and uncertainty out of your new year, new you fitness programming, then fill out the completely free discovery call linked below in my caption and let's chat so I can help you come up with a game plan that's going to change your body, your health, and your life. Here's to a new and improved you in 2025 and beyond.